Hey, good day there. Welcome to yet another edition of the Midas Letter CEO Podcast. My name is James West. I'm the host and the publisher of Midas Letter at MidasLetter.com. Midas Letter is a global investment journal of best in class companies in all sectors. My guest today is Duma Winshu. He is the CEO and founder of Province Brands, a private company operating in the cannabis beverages sector. They've got a product that's designed to become an alcohol killer. Duma, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Duma, let's start with an overview. What's the value proposition for investors in Province Brands? It is a tremendous value proposition and a chance not just to be involved in what looks like the future of the cannabis industry, uh, but also to be involved in a business that will fundamentally change the world and change the way that uh, that, that people think of psychoactives. Mm, interesting. And how will you do that? Uh, at Province, we make beer and spirits, but our beer does not contain alcohol and our spirits do not contain alcohol Uh, these products instead intoxicate you using marijuana or marijuana's cannabinoids and they're designed to really be what we call an alcohol killer basically a true competitor to alcohol uh, in every sense of the word so think about timing Hmm. when you consume a marijuana beverage the effect won't hit you for an hour, hour and a half. It's crazy. It's like you go to your business drinks, you don't feel anything until you're driving home. It's pointless. Uh, Our products don't have that problem. Our products are going to hit you in 10 minutes or less, just like alcohol. Hmm. And what about how long you stay intoxicated? With, you know, marijuana edibles, you're often intoxicated for six hours or more. That's a big commitment, you know, and nobody would buy a $45 cocktail at the start of dinner that would get them drunk all night long, but buying three $15 cocktails over the course of an evening, that's totally normal because we're used to self-titration. We're used to having a short duration of effect and limiting, uh, you, you know, because we know how long it's going to stay in our system, we don't consume, we were able to consume multiple iterations of the product. So we're actually developing a product to shorten the duration of effect of edible cannabis so that between the the ability to shorten the onset time and then shorten the duration of effect, we can create a dose response curve for edible cannabis, which is almost identical to the dose response curve of alcohol. And lastly, we can actually create a sensation. Uh, and this is not something that we have right now. This is a, an R&D project for, for, for the future, but we're working on creating a sensation that will deliver a feeling a lot like the pleasant sensation of drinking alcohol. So when you drink it, you won't feel that stoned, high, antisocial feeling. You'll feel the more social, high-energy, fun uh, feeling that you get with alcohol. Ha, ah, with uncontrollable belly laughter included? We hope so. Uh, you know, it depends how you react to booze. I sure, think. sure. Okay, so how do you foresee this fitting into the regulatory framework of the Canadian government and also, secondarily, of the U.S. government? Well, products like ours would be legal currently in uh, about 40 U.S. states. Um, I think there's 44 U.S. states that have legalized medical marijuana. Some of them have some strange rules which would make our beverage not legal. Um, but about 40 of those states, we could sell uh, our product. Now, that's legal under state law, of course, illegal under federal law, but that's how it is everywhere in the United States. There are close to 30 countries uh, in the world that have a medical marijuana program of some form or another, and in many of those countries, our product would be legal as well. Uh, Currently, our product would not be legal in Canada, which is our home country. We're a Canadian company. Um, But that's okay because they've announced that they are about to pass recreational legalization. And really the impetus for starting province in Canada is to be ready, to be the first uh, cannabis-powered beverage that is available uh, when recreational legalization begins to have a huge head start and to dominate the Canadian industry. Uh, In the meantime, we can, of course, sell in the United States and we can ship from Canada uh, to other countries. Uh, So, so, and we intend to do that as well. Okay. So it sounds like you are targeting an exclusively recreational market. You don't have or anticipate producing a medical marijuana product? Well, that's actually... 
you know, everyone asks me that, but in truth, it, it's all the same, right? I mean, <laughs> the guy who uh, the guy who grows the oranges is, is is he making medicine? No, he's an orange farmer. But if someone has a cold and buys those oranges because it has vitamin C, to them it's medicine, right? Sure. Uh, from our perspective, we make a fantastic delivery mechanism for cannabis probably the best I've ever experienced. And uh, a lot of people are probably going to agree that this is a great delivery mechanism. And if you're one of those folks for whom cannabis is going to help you medically, this is a great way to take your medicine. It's fun. It's relaxed. You know, it doesn't, it's not uptight like taking a pill. Hmm. Uh, and, and so it's certainly a product that we can sell in any medical market uh, where where beverages are allowed, which is almost every medical market in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you suggesting that through this formulation process, you will be able to isolate and remove the negative uh, effects of cannabis sort of uh, consumption, like anxiety and discomfort, and in my case, uh, complete and total anti-sociability and introspection? Oh man, that sounds terrible. I, you know, I can't say that we're uh, that that we're going to be able to do all of those things. Uh, in reality, our business is about creating an alcohol-like sensation from cannabis. Now, there are compounds in cannabis that will give certain people um, uh, a, 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 those type of side effects. Now, we don't use all the compounds from cannabis in all of our products, so it's very likely you'll be able to find a product that, that, that wouldn't give you any of those side effects. But again, we can't promise that for, for everyone. Our goal is again to, to take the wild and unruliness of marijuana and transform it into something that is predictable, that is reliable, and that is a, 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 that is a world-class beverage that, that is a lot closer to an alcohol sensation than the typical cannabis sensation. Mm -hmm. So a socially acceptable and, uh, I guess, optimized way to consume cannabis and just glean its more uh, favorable effects. Uh, I, I think so too. Yes, we are definitely focusing on on enhancing the favorable effects of the plant. Um, but but you know who knows if we'll be able to minimize the, the, some of the side effects that some people do experience. Sure. Okay. So um, I'm curious as to your approach to the market. If you're going into the alcoholic beverage market, which it sounds like that's your target audience. How are you going to achieve what you're proposing? What kind of track record can you show me that would give me a degree of confidence that you're able to achieve your objectives? Uh, we have a, a phenomenal team uh, and guys who are all veterans who have done this before. Hmm. Uh, and uh, one of my co-founders launched a, a very successful brand of gin, uh, which became a global brand, and then shortly thereafter created a, um, a, a, a vodka, which is which was known around the world, is still known around the world, and uh, sold that to one of the major alcohol companies. Uh, we're actually uh, one of our advisors. Also started a major vodka company and also made a gin. Interestingly enough, and, and he may actually end up joining our team um, uh, in, in the next couple of months uh, in a full time capacity, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a veteran list of guys who have been successful in creating luxury beverages in the past. And we also have uh, uh, two guys, myself and, and one other, um, who have been tremendously successful in the, in the cannabis industry as well. So, uh, you know, our team boasts uh, 13 years combined experience in cannabis, 19 cannabis cup wins, and with three high times World Cup Cannabis Cup wins. Hmm. Um, we also have 14 years experience in the alcohol industry, creating some of the better known uh, alcohol brands uh, that are out there. So you've got the credibility on the street, you've got the credibility in the lab, and you've got the, the marketing chops by the sounds of it. What's your background? Uh, my background, I, I grew up in Miami, Florida, uh, did, did undergraduate at Princeton, grad school at USC, um, gentleman and Corey May and I started a, um, a company to produce motion pictures. We weren't super successful at making motion pictures, but we pivoted that business into the video game space where we, we did find a lot of success. Um, the franchises that, that we worked on or, or created or helped create are, are known around the world. Prince of Persia, uh, we did three games in that series. Um, Assassin's Creed was a franchise that we were uh, involved in since the inception. Army of Two, uh, the most recent actually second most recent Batman game, Batman Arkham Origins, uh, just to name a few. And so we, we had a company called Secret Agent Productions with offices in Los Angeles and also in, uh, in Montreal, Canada. Okay, that's interesting. 
so so you're in the process now of raising capital for your go public strategy. Yeah, absolutely, we are uh, we are definitely considering the option of taking province uh, public, and we'll do that at the appropriate time. And in the short term, we are in the midst of a friends and family round, uh, raising capital actually currently, uh, and should have that closed in the next few months. All right, Duma, that's a brilliant introduction to province brands. We wish you the utmost success, and we'll come back to you in a couple of quarters' time and see how you're making out. Thank you for your time today. Oh, wonderful! Thank you. My guest today was Duma Winshu. He is the founder and CEO of Province Brands, a private company operating in the cannabis beverage space. If you'd like to learn more about Province Brands, you can visit them online at provincebrands.com. If you'd like to hear more podcasts like this, you can find us at midasletter.com. My name is James West, and this here has been another Midas Letter CEO podcast.